Hello everyone. So today I have a video regarding Louis Vuitton and how annoying that it's just this bag has been like sold out and I had to get it through a different seller. My name is Jasmine Lombarka and I make videos about fashion and I am going to start making a lot more videos about how to dress up and you know different like styling outfit videos as well as uh, I have definitely other passions like makeup is a huge passion of mine and including uh, designer handbags so yeah those are pretty much my passions um, I'm also huge into beauty using a lot of like products for the body uh, skin and also like um, beauty products for the face but I feel like my expertise lies more in outfits styling because I've been very successful with that with um, family and friends clients in the past as well as makeup um, makeup is actually like one of my hobbies um, it has been for years for years but anyway story for another time but don't forget to subscribe please subscribe for more videos weekly and so you don't miss out okay so um the reason why um Louis Vuitton is annoying is because well first of all I got this bag so this is a new bag that I got recently but you guys I've been waiting to get this bag for like two years. I mean, is that excessive? It is, it is absolutely excessive. So I had this in my like chart. I even like, honestly, where I live, there's just one Louis Vuitton store. Um, and I wanted to have the experience to go to the store directly and, and get my bag, but unfortunately it didn't happen. The, I don't know, everything was just so sold out in 2020. Um, and it was impossible to get this bag. It was always sold out. And then, um, at one point I went to the Luton website and I signed up for, you know, getting a notification when this bag came back to life and it just never did. And then I waited and then I waited and I waited. I, I think I even called, <laughs> I even called, um, the customer service line like, Hey, is this going to be relaunched? And they're like, yeah, just wait for it. They never did thing is that I know I am aware this bag is available in like different types of um, material, leathers, designs, logos. But the thing is that I specifically wanted this one, just the classic logo. It's just so I don't know, Instagram and Instagram. So by seeing like this bag on instagram on other girls it's like no i definitely i know for a fact that i wanted this color like this print and everything this canvas i've considered the black one i like the matte and i like the shiny one i was even considering the pink one um because i love pink i was even considering one of the newer ones that the logos are kind of like a little bit bigger but no i just didn't want to spend my money that way i just wanted the classic the classic okay and it just looks so pretty so i mainly i have it like this with the double chain that way i can use this bag as a um shoulder bag so it just looks so cute and i've been wanting this bag for so long things that um so luton never contacted me and never kind of like produced this specific bag again to my knowledge to this day and i'm sorry you guys i'm thirsty so coke zero yeah i woke up i haven't even had coffee or anything to drink no i had orange juice a little bit and water so i had to get this back through a reseller so yes it is pre-loved i've been following this account through instagram and this account just sells a lot of like um products luxury products from other people um and that's the text i know crickets <laughs> so i found out about this reseller 
uh, through Michelle, which I'm going to put her like YouTube below. So she did a video and, I, and I'm actually going to spend time looking for that specific video. She did like a um, unboxing and it was a Louis Vuitton Speedy that she got and it was like watercolor something. It was like a specific design of a specific collection. So, um, so she was the one who said like, oh, I got this back through this Instagram account. And then she said like, oh my God, like I was nervous for the transaction because giving money on somebody on Instagram is kind of like, oh my God, am I even gonna get my bag? But she got it and it was a great transaction and everything, like the bag was almost new. And so I did actually, this is my second bag that I get through them. Um, and so the first bag that I got, I'm going to post a link here for that specific bag and unboxing. It was never full, but it was also like from a specific collection. It was a 2018 collection. It was like a summer trunks collection. Oh my God, that collection was amazing. And it has like pink details. So I definitely went for that because actually I wanted this bag. Since I couldn't find it, I got the Neverfull from the Trunks collection. And it has like extra designs. It looks absolutely pretty. Like I would never buy a Neverfull. And I wasn't planning on it, to be honest. I wasn't planning on buying a Neverfull, but with that specific design, I was like, absolutely. Absolutely. Anyway, things that now in 2022, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get one. So I saw that she was selling this one. What pisses me off, and I will tell you this, the inserts, they don't include the inserts. They sell the inserts separately. That's the only thing that pisses me off about um, that selling process. So, but at this point I was like, forget the damn inserts. I just want the bag. Because I've seen other people's videos about this bag, about unboxing and what it comes with, what it doesn't come with. So, um, it came with everything except the inserts, like they gave me the receipt, like they gave me the little bag, you know, they gave me, give me the freaking bow I, or the whatever and the actual receipt. So it is legit, you guys. And, but it's just like the whole insert situation. That's the only thing that really pissed me off. And then they don't give me. I know it's all for profit but the thing is that they don't even give you the option of like hey if you want the inserts it's gonna be this much um, with the other bag I did buy the inserts separately that's the only thing that I was kind of like super annoyed about um, luckily they did have it available but I asked for it they didn't offer it the thing is that with this one, I decided to not ask for the inserts, or I think I did, but they didn't have them. But still, it's not like I will use the inserts anyway. Like, I have a really pretty <clears throat> um, Victoria's Secret pink little wallet. So I use like the passport wallet. That's what I use um, as far as like wallet goes, or this little one. So this is, um, Michael Kors, I bought this oh, a while ago. So uh, yeah, so I just use a small one anyway because this is not, it's a comfortable bag, but it's not like a huge bag. So I just like put it in here and that's it. And then I'm ready to go. I'm still appreciative for the transaction because everything went well. You know, like they, they just give you like the entire packaging like if it was new pretty much and the condition was newer i mean this thing doesn't even have a scratch on it and and the neverfull that one was even newer i think that somebody with the neverfull somebody had it but then they never used it like the the leather like on the straps hasn't even patinaed yet and i hate that word but it hasn't even changed color so that one was new 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 like they didn't even use it like it was crazy and um and just to double check i didn't have anybody else authenticate it even though they definitely sell authentic pieces but just like as 
second eye. What I did is just watch a lot of YouTube videos about how to determine if this is actually authentic. Um, so I watched a lot of videos and I was able, by the pictures that was that were sent to me, because I asked for additional pictures, um, I was able to determine that it was um, it was a legit, you know, bag. And if you guys want me to make a video about how to determine the authenticity of this bag, the Felice Pochette, let me know and I can make a separate video about how to identify if this is actually real or not. Anyway. So yeah, so those that was my experience getting this bag, but I'm very happy that I got it and I'm very uh, happy with the transaction um, with this seller. And yeah, so let me know if you guys have any questions. I will leave the Instagram account down below in the description so you guys can know which account it is because there's a lot of scammers people duplicating websites and, and Instagram pages kind of crazy but anyway thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye